SM102. Ever heard of it? Well, it's in that Moderna COVID-19 vaccine, and I'm about to tell you what it is. This is Behind the Line. Be advised, we got zips in the wire down here. Uh, right here, last one was six. Can't run it any closer. We're not to charge back and snake and name, but we're big on fuel. For the record, it's my call. Dump everything you've got left on my pod. I say again, expend all remaining in my perimeter. Coming to you from behind the lines in Washington State, local and national talk, news, and opinions. This is the Behind the Line podcast. So SM-102 is a chemical that uh, is in the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine. Uh, The other ingredients, or some of the other ingredients in this vaccine, are uh, messenger rib nucleic acid, mRNA, lipids, the SM-102, polyethylene glycol, PEG-2000, demistrol, glycerol, DMG, cholesterol, and 1 and 2, dysteriol, SN, glycero, 3, phosphocholine, DSPS, tromethamine, hydrochloride, acidic acid, and sodium acetate. So, what is this... uh, SM-102, well, if you look it up under its trade name on OSHA, the safety data sheet comes up for it, and I'm going to read to you what it says. First of all, it's harmful if swallowed, causes skin irritation, causes serious eye irritation, and is harmful to aquatic life. Um, This product is classified and labeled according to the globally harmonized system, GHS, The signal word for this chemical is danger. Uh, It's got hazard uh, determining components, uh, chloroform. Under hazard statements, it reads that it is highly flammable liquid and vapor, harmful if swallowed, fatal in contact with skin, causes skin irritation, causes serious eye irritation, suspected of causing cancer, suspected of damaging fertility or the unborn child, causes damage to the central nervous system, the kidneys, the liver, and the respiratory system through prolonged or repeated exposure, again harmful to aquatic life, and then it says very toxic to aquatic life with long-lasting effects. Now, is it just me, or does that sound like something you really want to go inject into your body? And yes, it may be a small amount, but uh, does it really matter? Do they really know the long-term side effects of this thing? I mean, these people getting the shot right now are the guinea pigs. They are the test dummies. They are the ones that they are observing and trying to see if it's safe or not because it wasn't properly tested. Most vaccines are tested for 10 years, you know, on a large, large group of people who volunteer to be tested, and none of that was done. This thing was ramped up and rolled out in eight months and uh, still doesn't even have FDA approval. It's it's only authorized for emergency use. And uh, I just have a feeling, you know, in the next uh, year or two, we're going to start seeing what the effects are of these people getting this thing and you know you gotta get two of these to begin with and now you know Fauci's saying you're gonna need a booster shot at least every year at least one every year to keep it up um i'm not putting this thing in my body we don't know what the long-lasting effects are going to be or what else it could cause for a disease that has a 1.5% in, in Washington state and in most states in the United States, less than 1% worldwide, worldwide cause of death, uh, why are we doing this for something that 
has such a low mortality rate. Obviously, it's your choice what you put into your body, and if it makes you feel safer to have it, uh, then by all means, get it. And, uh, of course, they're going to make it difficult on you if you don't get it, because I know in Washington they're already uh, limiting, you know, having all these special things right now for people who have gotten the vaccine. You know, they can unmask, they can sit together, no socially distancing. Uh, they're talking about having cruises specifically for vaccinated people, you know, they're, but of course the talk is already out there about, um, not being able to do things if you aren't vaccinated. Uh, the talk is already out there that, uh, school kids are going to have to be vaccinated to go to school. And I, in Washington, they've already started the process to make this a requirement. Uh, I just don't see how they can require you to get something that isn't FDA approved uh, and isn't properly tested. So be careful what you do with yourselves, folks. Really think it through before you go get that shot because you just don't know. You just don't know what it's going to do. Hey everyone, thanks for listening to the Behind the Line podcast. I hope you will subscribe to the channel so you can get regular updates. And if you're listening to this on YouTube, I hope you will also uh, like it, share it, and uh, subscribe on YouTube as well. You can find us on YouTube, Facebook, Anchor, Sprecher. We're on various other podcast platforms. Um, And you can find me on LinkedIn under John Washington. Again, thank you for listening. We appreciate your support.